Hello, Bridge students. It's Mr. O'Keefe. I'm doing a screencast for the first time to try to show you how to use this animation software called Brush Ninja. Um, we're going to make animated GIFs today using that. So if you look here on the Visual Arts Bridge Google Classroom, you're going to see I posted a couple of examples of animations that I made with the software. Here's a melting snowman. Here. Um, and here is a dude snoring. Let's see if I can open that up for you. Yep, pretty simple, but they were fun to make. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. All right, so if you go to brush.ninja, this is what that website looks like. Um, it has this little tool for making animated GIFs. Um, let's make an example animation just to show you how it works. So new, save what you're working on. Um, this is the undo and redo button. So if you do something you don't like, you can undo it. Or if you decide you do like it, you can redo it. Um, right up here is the onion skin option. I'll explain what that does in a moment. Down here are your frames. Our animation is made of lots of still frames right next to each other. Um, so we start with one frame. We're going to want more than that for sure, but we'll get there. Um, over here are your tools. There's all kinds of tools you can use. Um, there's pencil for drawing. It's pretty hard to draw on here, uh, but you can try. Um, there's making shapes. Um, there is erasing and then writing letters. I forgot to change the letter. Um, there is um, this, well, it's, let me draw something to explain what this does. Um, using this tool, you can do things like move stuff around or rotate stuff or make stuff bigger or smaller. Okay. That's what that does. All right. Um, we'll just use the pencil for now. And you can change color over here. So let's say we want to do a bouncing ball, which is real simple animation. Um, we're going to go make a, we're going to use a line here. And we're going to um, we're going to create a background. All right, so the background, this is the ground that the ball is going to bounce up and down. It doesn't need to change, so we're just going to create one of them and then make lots of duplicates. This little button here makes a duplicate. So the background, we can keep it the same every frame, so we're going to duplicate that a bunch of times. All right, if we were drawing this in a flip book, we would need to draw it every time, so it's a nice time saver. Let's make our ball here. Um, I'm going to just click the biggest one just to keep it simple. You could draw the ball every time, um, but I'm just going to use the largest pencil dot just to make a boop. And that can be our ball. All right, so that's the first frame. Now the second frame needs to be a little bit lower than that because it's dropping. I have the onion skin clicked on so I can see a little bit of what was before. So I can put it right underneath that. And next frame, a little bit lower than that. Frame after that, I'm just gonna keep on dropping it closer to the ground. It gets a little faster as it gets closer. And eventually it's about to hit that ground. And when we get there, we kind of want it to smush a little bit. So we're going to go over here to the oval making thing. Kind of create a slightly smushed version of it. And then it's going to start bouncing back up again. Um, let's see. Bouncing back up. Let's go ahead and test out what we have so far. Look at all these frames we've made. Simple ones, but we have made a bunch of frames. So we'll go ahead and test out what we have. Boing. Now if I... What I would actually want to do is animate it all the way back up. But I want to show you something else first. Um, if you want to change the speed of your animation, frames per second, you can go here. Like let's say I want it to go really fast, 16 frames per second. I'll press that. If I'm done, I can go to uh, export, which is right here. Animated GIF, export, 